Hey guys, this is going to be my first ever Sony Vegas tutorial and it's basically just going to show my render settings for Sony Vegas Pro 10 but it'll probably work on some of the older versions as well so the first thing you need to do is open up your internet browser and type in to Google easy H.264 and it'll come up with this first link here so when you open it and basically just download well whatever tickles you fancy so I downloaded the raw version now just wait for that to finish and then go into uh, Sony Vegas and then when it opens click file new and then make sure that you choose this template it's HDV 720 by 30p and so 12 uh, 1280 by 720 resolution and 29.970 NTSC and the full resolution quality is on the best then just click OK and then import your video, wherever it's going to be. I'm just going to import a random video. Uh, this will do. Right, when that's in, hang on, let's get rid of the audio. I'll leave that one. So, right, okay, when that's in, you then basically edit the video, whatever properties, make sure you disable resample and if you're having trouble with black bars, untick maintain aspect ratio and then click OK. Then go into your render settings, uh, go into render, so file render as and then go into video for windows AVI, so it should be there and then click on custom right make sure frame size is HDV 720 1280 by 720 and 29.970 frame rate and then for video format make it uncompressed and audio uh, 48,000 actually no, 44,100 sample rate and just leave it as that and then click OK and okay give it a name so just I'm just gonna save it to the desktop and then let it render out by doing this you might need a bigger hard drive than usual because it's rendering it uncompressed which means Sony Vegas just isn't compressing it at all so the file size can get very big after you render it but then if you use what's going to be the next step it the size is going to be so much smaller than it is now so that's what it's like now okay now close that after you finish that open up where the easy H264 thing downloaded and you should I'm expecting you guys to have WinRAR by now so basically just extract the whole file make sure you don't just extract the exe that's inside you need everything that's in there so I'm just going to extract it to my desktop then close that and then hang on, I'm just going to show you how big that the rendered file actually is now it's 800 megabytes for a very short file and let's see how big it actually is it's 10 seconds and it renders out to 800 megabytes thing is this though the quality is going to be brilliant now open up easy h264 and then select the video file that you rendered so my one's going to be the FIFA one on my desktop and then output file so that's basically what where the new video is going to be saved to so just I'm just going to call it FIFA E so FIFA edited 
and then you click save and then keep that as it is because that's the one that you rendered out with and make whenever you're making videos to put on YouTube make sure you actually use that one because that's the one that um, YouTube properly supports then choose extreme HC 720p if the file is a bit too big for your upload limit maybe drop it onto medium but I always keep mine on extreme HD and then just click start encoding and then it will give you that message then click OK then a command prompt box will show up and it's basically just encoding it so that's all you need to do and I'll be back when it's actually finished okay when that's actually finished you should have this pop-up completed conversion and then you'll see that your file is done so let's just compare the file sizes 806 megabytes for before you encode it and this is what it's like afterwards 6 megabytes mm. so it is actually insane how much it bumps it down it changed it to an mp4 but that's not a problem at all and then that should be it so if you have any questions guys feel free to put a comment and yeah that's it thank you